here are three different ways that you can hand sew together a rag rug. This one is the braided technique used to make a triangle. So just like I did before, I take the braided flat coil and then add in little knots of the fabric at the different points and in the center on this one to fill in my triangle and create the shape. Once I've got a pretty good shape ready, it's time to sew. I threaded my needle with a regular old machine thread and then I stabbed all the way through the fabric and I'm doing sort of a back stitch back and forth. So I'll sew forward a little bit through one coil into the next one and then back stitch to catch it. Back and forth and back and forth until I reach the center and then I will go and pivot in another direction backstitching in each point. This makes it really nice and secure. Stabbing all the way through is a good way to make sure it's flat. It's not the fastest method, but it's pretty nice and it's meditative. In this example, I'm using the twisted rag twine, and instead of coiling it into shape, I'm stacking it. I also use doubled up embroidery floss and embroidery needle to sew it. I'm stabbing the thread through each of the loops and doing what they call a whip stitch. So it's whipping over and under, over and under, attaching these loops together. This method has the benefit of being a little bit decorative. So if you use a contrasting thread, it's actually kind of a nice look. It does take a while. For the next row, I folded over the rag twine and then pinned it down in position. That kept it really nice and smooth and flat to the next row. I will say that yes, this takes a fair bit of time. And you know, maybe you want to do it for smaller segments. At least for me, I found for the doing these triangles was actually the perfect method. Uh, I also didn't want to do more than two or three rows and pin down because it started to become kind of unwieldy and the pins kept stabbing me. So don't do that. Um, this is also a really good method if your fabric is kind of thick. because you can see, I'm not trying to stab through the fabric itself. I'm just going through the coils and underneath. While that might take a little more time because you've got to go and find them, it's good if you've got thick fabric. So as you can see, I'm actually going in reversing directions. For each row, I would go forward one side and then back down the other. Forward one side, back down the other. It works really pretty well. The biggest thing is to try to um, keep the thread a little bit even as you go. So with the embroidery thread, it's a little thick and it pulls, so keeping it smooth is important. This actually got together reasonably fast considering your hand sewing and bothering to look through all the loops. It's also really secure, which I liked. So if you've got sort of uneven loops, this is a really nice technique because it will flatten it out as you go. You can see for the finish, on one side you've got overlapping blue stitches. On the other side, you can see only a little tiny flex of it. So you get to decide which side is front and which side is back. For the last sample, I used the braided method of making my twine, and I stacked it instead of coiling it. I'm using doubled up heavy duty button carpet thread instead of embroidery thread. So it's pretty nice and secure. It also hides itself pretty easily in the fabric. I'm also stabbing through the fabric itself, so a little bit more of what I did with the very first technique, but I'm instead sewing each row together. As far as hand stitching goes, this method actually comes together pretty fast, and it's really good if you've got a softer material, because I'm stabbing through all the fabrics instead of trying to go under loops. This is the side I stitched on, and you we can see the stitches, but they're not really obvious. From the other side, they're almost invisible. So this is a great technique for a really finished appearance. My personal preference is to machine sew things because it's faster. But if you like hand sewing, these are all great meditative ways to go.